Hello and uh, good afternoon or morning, depending where you are. And uh, welcome to this webinar on Fabripero sensors. I am Regis Blanc from SmartTech. I am technical sales engineer. And today I will present products from our sister company, Pfizer Technologies. During this webinar, you should hear my voice through your PC speaker. This webinar will last 30 minutes. You can ask questions using the question panel on the right of your screen. We will answer using the question panel or at the end of the presentation or by email. Later this week, you will receive a link to the presentation on a video recording of webinar. The contents of the webinar are the following. Uh, introduction to FISO technologies. Principle of fabri sensors, applications, sensors, signal conditioner, and conclusion. The company FISO Technologies. Well, uh, FISO and SmartTech are sister companies of the Rocktest Group. Rocktest is a world leader manufacturer of instrumentation used in civil engineering projects such as dams, tunnels, and other large infrastructures, including high-rise buildings and mines. It has been in business since 1967. Rocktest headquarters is located in saint Aubert near Montréal in Canada. Pfizer Technologies is located in Quebec City in Canada, and SmartTech is located in Lugano in Switzerland. Pfizer Technologies is a SmartTech sister company, and uh, FISO is a manufacturer of fiber optic sensors and signal conditioner. Sensors are produced in clean room with a plasma deposition and anodic bander process. And some uh, several stages of production are managed by automated robotic assembly. The key advantage of FISO sensors are that they are immune to electromagnetic interference, lightning strokes, high voltage, intense magnet. They are intrinsically safe. They are reliable over the long term. They are temperature independent and they offer low power loss over long distance, over long lead cables and uh, they offer no losses due to fiber bending because of uh, interferometric sensing. They have compact size and they are lightweight and low cost sensing unit, uh, low cost sensors. And um, fabri sensors, these are micro opto mechanical systems. This, uh, it's point sensors for pressure displacement, strain temperature, and refractive index sensing. FISO itself is focused on medical FISO catheters and energy markets. And SmartTech is specialized in the development, production, and distribution of structural health monitoring systems based on fiber optic sensors. The fabri sensing principle. fabri sensors are based on a white light fabri interferometer. Measurement is achieved uh, measuring uh, in the fabri cavity length using white light interferometry. Sensing element is a fabri cavity uh, less than 10 millimeter length. And the white light is uh, backscattered to the, to the reading unit for signal analysis. And the signal conditioner emits white light. And, um, and uh, the backscattered light uh, is uh, anal analyzed in um, uh, in the um, signal conditioner. The collimated light illuminating the wedge is recorded in a CCD detector. Here, uh, important to see where the thickness of the wedge 
corresponds to the cavity lines in the, in the sensor. So we, we obtain interference signal. And this way, we can precisely measure the cavity lines in a nanometer. There are many kinds uh, of uh, sensor packaging, and I will explain later the working principle of these individual sensors, and first have a look at some applications. The first application is a Moro telling dam in Chile. Here, uh, the monitoring is during the construction and the long term. Parameters are pressure and temperature, and uh, static and dynamic sensing. The purpose is to ensure safety of the dam, and fiber optic sensors are selected for superior lightning protection, long lead cables, dynamic pressure sensing, and long lifetime. Here, it's uh, the location of the dam before the constructions and uh, the cable duct implantation. And uh, here, uh, the lowest cable duct will be below 230 meters of dam, so they need some protections. And the cable protection of this tailing dam is uh, that uh, the sensors are in cable duct and um, they are stress protected. And the piezometers that are installed are installed in the sand, in the drains, in the foundations. Here is the position of the manholes, of the docks for conductors, and some foundation drillings. During the installations, the sensors uh, and the cable are installed in the cable duct. And um, another project application is um, hydraulic tomography. The point is to understand underground water movement. And the parameter that is measured is pore water pressure. And advantages of fiber optical sensors in that case is that we use micro piezometers for their small cross sections. Uh, it allows to reduce borehole size, uh, the low temperature sensitivity of the micro piezometer and long lead cables and long lifetime of this sensing element. The hydraulic tomography principle is um, a method for characterizing aquifer heterogeneity. During a hyd hydraulic tomography experiment, the water is sequentially injected into an aquifer at different vertical portions of the aquifer. Pfizer sensors help developing aquifer characterization, characterization strategies that are cost effective for repeated and or continuous implementation. The next application is a geotechnical application uh, for uh, a quay wall in uh, Rotterdam Harbor in the Netherlands. Here it's uh, continuous automatic monitoring from the construction to the operation. The parameters that are monitored are with the total pressure cells. It's, uh, we monitor the load on area behind the quay wall. And the purpose is a total pressure cell with fiber optic sensors selected for long lead cables and long lifetime. The installation of fiber optic total pressure cells is uh, on, the, on the area behind the, the quay wall. The field, the field calibration is done by superimposing uh, non weight after completion of the paving. Uh, it's uh, very durable. It do not need any recalibration after the initial calibrations, and it's insensitive to electromagnetic interference. The next applications will be a structural monitoring of a steel structure. It's a European Space Agency in French Guiana, and it's monitoring for continuous uh, and automatic monitoring. The parameters that are measured are stresses in the steel girders, uh, pressure sensors, temperature monitoring up to 350 degrees Celsius, it's a non-standard applications, and dynamic sensing. The purpose is fiber optical strain gauge that are selected for long lead cables, harsh environment, dynamic acquisition, and long lifetime. 
on the next picture here, it's um, a spot welded fiber optical sensor on the steel structure. And uh, uh, on the left, it's uh, applications where the wall structure is uh, built on the during um, a space large. And the next application, we go to cryogenic applications with displacement sensor. And it's a long-term monitoring of uh, annular space um, of uh, LNG tank. And what we monitor here is vertical, horizontal, and rotational movement. We use fiber optical sensors and uh, for cryogenic environment, long lead cables, robust, and a long lifetime over the life of the tank. And uh, here, um, it's a FOD uh, displacement sensor, fiber optic displacement sensor, and the wall mounting assembly to transmit the horizontal movement to, to the sensor. And staying in a um, cryogenic environment, now the next application is a superconducted structures, uh, the ether magnets. It's, uh, the purpose is continuous automatic monitoring of strain, temperature, and displacement. And fiber optical sensors selected for resistance to cryogenic radiation, vacuum, and strong magnetic fields. A few pictures of the sensors installed. A strain sensor, weldable strain sensor, temperature sensor, displacement sensor, and the displacement under, under qualification bench. Here is a pictures of the locations of the sensor in the feeder system and in the correction coil system. Both systems are part of the ether magnets. Now, uh, I will explain the working principle of these different fiber optic uh, sensors. And um, starting with the fabri pressure sensors. The design of fabri pressure sensor is based on non-contact deflection measurement of a stainless steel uh, diaphragm as opposed to more conventional displacement technique. Here it's a non-contact technique. Pressure creates a variation in the length of the fabri cavity, consisting of the inner surface of the stainless steel diaphragm on one side and an optical fiber here on the other side. The measurement is achieved by measuring the fabri cavity length using white light interferometry. Here it's a product range of uh, fabri uh, piezometers. And uh, these fabri piezometers are uh, designed to be embedded in earth field uh, at concrete earth interface or inserted into boreholes on small pipe diameters. The end of uh, FOP is fitted with a high or low air entry, uh, entry filter which protects the sensing element from solid particles, allowing this model to sense only the fluid presence to be measured. The filter is easily removable for saturation. And other sensors like this FOPF is a sequel version of the FOP for use in direct burial applications, so it's a rugged sensor. And this, this one, FOPC, is uh, provided with a pipe thread adapter enabling the piezometer to be used as a pressure transducer. And the FOPP, finally, is designed to be driven into unconsolidated fine grain material such as sand, silt, or clay. The extra external housing is a thick wall cylinder fitted with a conical shoe at the, at the end. And measurement of pressure up to 7,000 kilopascal. And one of these sensors is a fabri micro piezo sensor. That is a unique to fabri a compact size of uh, 
54 millimeter length and uh, nearly five millimeter outer diameter. It's, uh, it, it offers the lowest temperature sensitivity than the vibrating wire piezometer for a pressure range from 100 to around 300 kilopascal and uh, performance that are equivalent to standard piezometers. Here it's a comparison of the size of the micro piezo micro piezometer and um, and uh, the FOPC it's a Fabri-Pero standard uh, size uh, fiber optic piezometer and other on the right are vibrating wire piezometer and now uh, I will explain uh, the working principle of FISO displacement sensors the FISO displacement sensor is an absolute position sensor. Its design is based on the FISO mirror mounted on a movable shaft. The linear stroke is uh, 20 mm and for uh, temperature range from cryogenic temperature to 100 degree. And the housing is aluminum or stainless steel depending on the applications. And uh, this sensor is uh, uh, completely, completely passive and the movable FISO is uh, moved over the wall uh, measurement range of 20 millimeter. And now uh, I will explain the working principle of the FISO strain sensor. In that case, for the FISO strain sensor, as uh, a fabri -Pero cavity is the is the gauge length, and uh, what is measured is um, is a delta uh, delta quavity length in comparison to the gauge length. The gauge length is defined by the attachment of the Pyrex body to to the structure. When the sensor is compressed, the cavity length is reduced and the, when there is an extension the cavity length is bigger and so this sensor is a linear sensor and it offers various customable strain ranges up to 10,000 micro strain. There are different kinds of packaging for this fabri strain sensor. And uh, the first one is uh, EFO for embedment in concrete. And uh, it offers the capability of the fabri sensor to have a small form factor, so a gauge length of 70 millimeter. The weldable strain gauge uh, is uh, also a compact sensor for ranges up to plus minus 5,000 micro strain. And the surface to weld is a 25 millimeter length. And the last one is a, the bare fiber sensor for the highest strain range of plus minus 10,000 micro strain. And these sensors offer the high resolution capability of the FISO reading unit from, from up to 0.1 micrometer uh, micro strain resolution. And now the last uh, working principle that I want to explain to you in this webinar is a FISO temperature sensor. In, this, in that case, the FISO temperature sensors are built on, uh, with two glasses of different thermal, coefficient, thermal expansion coefficient. And um, when the temperature is heated, the cavity length is reduced and uh, when the temperature decreases, the cavity length is getting bigger. So we deliver this sensor with a calibration sheet and the uh, capability to, to measure absolute temperature. And uh, these sensors are ranges from minus 40 to plus 85 degrees, maximum 300 or up to 350 degrees Celsius. They have a response time uh, below, uh, below the second and resolution from 0.1 on 
and below uh, it can be up to 0 0.01 degrees Celsius and accuracy comparable to standard uh, temperature sensor and the FISO signal conditioner now. There are several uh, types of signal conditioner. Uh, one channel portable powered reading unit, that is a FTI-10. It's a perfect reading unit to go installed, to go on site, to install sensor. It's a battery powered or to have a small setup uh, in the lab or to check uh, sensors one by one. The DMI is a reading unit offering the capability to log from 16 to 32 channels for continuous data logging. And uh, evolution platform is, uh, allows dynamic measurement and parallel acquisition of all the sensors that are plugged to to these uh, to several modules. Uh, the platform can uh, can have up to eight modules and it's called FPI HR or FPI HS. HS for a high sampling of up to 15 kilohertz. The first one is a single channel portable re reading unit. So battery power, small footprint, footprint, and with a direct reading of uh, the, the value on the LCD screen. It's a rug unit and can last a long time on the battery. The DMI 1632 channels readout can log up to 15,000 samples and is delivered in a rugged enclosure. And it's typically an integrated uh, system with modem for remote monitoring. And uh, the evolution platform ca can have up to eight models and uh, one to two channels per module. FPI HR modules can have uh, can offer acquisition rate of 125 to 250 hertz. And um, these sensors. Uh, the sensors that are plugged are um, on this evolution platform are connected with a special smart connectors that I will explain in the next slide. And uh, this is um, uh, the communication is uh, with uh, analog and the USB connection for the acquisition. And the evolution reading unit, the connector. Uh, this reading unit is a platform on several modules and the connector is a, what is particular in this connector is the ability to contain all the parameters and also the module are, are recognized directly each module, each channels and with this connectors each sensors are recognized automatically without any further settings by the acquisition software. Uh, the software integration is uh, fully compatible with a SmartTech SDB software for static data management, analysis, and representation. In conclusion, this uh, Fabri-Pero sensors uh, are uh, well uh, um, adapted for static and dynamic pressure measurement anywhere where an electric wire is forbidden or where an electric sensor measures more electromagnetic noise than the pressure. Displacement is a Fabri-Pero displacement sensors are well adapted for low frequency displacement, cryogenic measurements, anywhere where an electrical wire is forbidden or where lightning strikes is too often. Strain sensor is uh, with it, uh, it offers the capability to measure micro deformation uh, as, uh, as said with a resolution of up to 0.1 micro strain and uh, with a vibration measurement to up to 15,000 Hertz. It's uh, compact, it's uh, most compact fiber, 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 um, fiber optical strain sensors that uh, exist. It's available for force and load measurements too. 
as deduced from strain and with the capability of long lead cables. The temperature sensors they are immune to electromagnetic interference and lightning strikes. They, they are adapted where no electric noise in the measurement and um, can measure up to 300 or 350 degrees. And the ferry power sensors, they are point sensor as said for pressure, strain, deformation, temperature, and refractive index. They have the ability to, to, to be reliable over the long, long term. They offer high stability, high resolution for static and dynamic measurements. Uh, it's uh, easy to install, to cable, to plug to the reading unit and to acquire the data. And uh, the small package, the small size, offer uh, ideal packaging for geotechnical, civil, and in industrial instrumentation. And it's an affordable technology based on the um, uh, manufacturing process of the thousands of, and thousands of uh, fabric pero sensors that are manufactured at FISO and um, assembled for these uh, different applications. So thank you for your attention. And you can find more information on FISO sensors on our website. And uh, if anybody in the audience has questions, you can use the question panel that you will find in the right side of the screen. You can write your questions there and we will answer in private message later on. And uh, if anybody has further questions, please drop us, drop us an email and we will also soon post this presentation online. So thanks for, for your attention and bye bye.